Yo, back again with another my team video. And today I wanted to go through each card and I wanted to rank every like card. You know, 2K23 is right around the corner. So I need to get your idea like what's the best move, what's the best stuff, you know, who's gonna be best card, but we got some cards revealed. So I'm just gonna rank them, screw it. I mean I've been playing this game since 2K15, almost eight years, nine years. I, my team wise, I can, I can give a good idea how good or bad these cards will be. I mean, last year we started up with these players. We got Colossal, stuff in that nature. We got the starter pack. So we'll have free agent card. I don't think we're getting, actually we are getting promo packs. So there will be promo cards, which no one will, I mean, it'll be rare. Does Chris Bosch even exist? Okay, I, I don't even recall that Chris Bosch. Dr. J, Julius Irving, but yeah, that's the point. We got we got this set last year. We got Melo, Jack, Nordy Yao Ming, Daron Davis. So we got a, this was the best set, and that Shaq was awful. Just run past this. I mean, Ray Allen was all right. I mean, this set was sucked. That Ruby Melo was good. So y'all look at the Ruby cards. Just a good idea to look at. Look off the rip. Look at the Ruby cards. The Ruby point guards, especially like this Ruby Lillard. And this Ruby Lamello Ball were probably the best cards in this set. But not the dang point of this whole video. So yeah, but look at the Ruby cards when um looking at these sets. The Ruby cards are the steal. And Dr. J was also good. Jack was meh. But you know, let's go back and let's look. Like Roger Rondo. You know, we're ranking him. He'll be like a DF, I mean. And DBG like saying he's him, he's garbage. He's garbage. Early in the year, though, Rick Smith, I would give a B rating. The fact is, he's just going to be a complete masher. You're going to be able to mash him in the paint. And you're just going to be able to mash, mash, mash basketball. Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman's going to stink. He's not going to rebound. Just don't even. Just quick sell him. Or sell him on the auction house. You know, sell him on the auction house. You know, you might as well. He make sure. Oh, I forgot about Michael Porter Jr. Yeah, like I said, Sapphire. You want to? Hey, I think Jalen Green also had a good release in CI. Like I said, you want to look at the Sapphires and Ruby cards in these sets. And Amethyst, especially if you're on a budget. Even if you're not on a budget, the Ruby cards are just better. Deron Davis wasn't even that good. Like, was he able to get every badge? I think he was. Yeah, Deron Davis was able to get every badge. I remember because I saw Half Limitless Range on Baron Davis. That was like hilarious, but this Baron Davis wasn't even good. Did he have any good dribble six? He had base dribble, but this ain't bad for beginning of the year. But look at Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard had Damian Lillard size up, which isn't bad for beginning of the year, but okay, back to the dang point. But yeah, we got Joel and B, John ja Morant. I think John ja Morant is the smartest decision to pick right now. Like, not even off of like the starter pack, John ja Morant. Is literally, literally last year he's gonna keep he's gonna keep shifty. He had Derrick Rose combo, Kobe sides up. If you're not picking John ja Morant, you're just not smart. Like, but I think you can get multiple, right? I think it says uh, you'll be you get to play with your starter pack choice. He earned more of them for All Star. He scored six point three oh, first evolution. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you're gonna be able to pick your evolution, but I think you get more. I try to evolve them. Um, agendas, Ruby. Oh, it gives you another starter pack selection. So yeah, once you get John Morant to Ruby, like it's hard to say. I would say depending on Jimmy Butler's three pointer, that's how it would depend. But I would give John Morant rating wise, I would give him an A tier because right at the start of the bat. He's gonna be amazing. I would give Joel and B. Actually, I would give him an S tier for right in the start, first weekend. He's S. Joel and B. I will give an A tier because Joel and B. I mean, for right at the beginning, will be decent. And I think Jimmy Butler's an A tier. Like Jimmy Butler, like it's the first time where all three starter pack cards are amazing. I think Jimmy Butler is gonna be really, really good. Jimmy Butler has a really good player model, especially if you're on next gen. Good defender. If he has clamps, if he gets the good defensive, and he gets a good shot, at least 74 three-pointer. Like, this Jimmy Butler is going to be really good. As a cone, the guy that can defend the other. I mean, this Ruby Jimmy could be really good. I mean, 
I can't say he won't. Jimmy Butler, we can look. Jimmy. Where did, why doesn't let me search it? Okay, I don't know what's wrong with this. What the freak? Okay, uh, Jimmy Butler. Okay, we got the work. 90 overall. We can look at the 90 overall Jimmy Butler, so this is probably going to be how he's alike. I mean, look at just this Jimmy Butler. He had Interceptor, Silver Clamps. He probably going to be like this one. This one had one hall, so he's probably not going to be like this one. But he had defensive badges. Hmm. Yeah, he's decent. Like, Jimmy Butler... Jimmy Butler has a chance to be really decent. I'm giving him A tier. For starter, our A tier, Joel and B. Depending on his three pointer, A. If his three pointer is low, B. And I think John Morant's S A A to I mean S tier, S tier starter pack. But S A and B and A and A for all three of them. Next up, we got Fred Jones. I mean, looking at off the bat last year, a colossal lineup. We can look at a lineup. Boom. This was the colossal lamp for every card, like Ray Allen wise. I don't think Fred Jones is that good, honestly. I I really don't think he offers more value than Jimmy Butler. As he's a good dunker, that's about it though. He's gonna be like he's gonna be like this card. When Robinson. He's gonna be like the Amethyst. He's gonna be like this card, but a lot more bum version of this card. Like this card is literally gonna suck. I'm just being honest. He's gonna suck. 93 pointer, 90 speed, clamps. He had no clamps. Like, I bet he doesn't even get clamps. Look at Glenn Robinson. I think he might have the same anime. He'll get slasher base. Yeah. This car, I'm just here to say it. I think Fred Jones, and the fact he's 6'4, I looked his height up before, he's 6'4 point guard. I'm saying he's just going to be a C to D tier to level card. He's not going to be good. He's just going to be a card to get 10 points. He's going to suck. Okay, so don't think 2K is going to give us a good card. He's going to, he's going to, he's going to stink. Didn't mean to click that, but he's going to, he's going to stink. Kareem Abdul Jabbar, I don't know what rating is, but I'm liking that player build. Kareem player build looking nice. Derrick Rose is a S tier, I mean. Who's guarding? If you know Pink Diamond D Rose from last year, Pink Diamond Derrick Rose. Just look at his Diamond card, four Hall of Fame badges. And this was his Diamond card, so his Pink Diamond is likely gonna get six Hall of Famers. I think he had a Pink. Did he? Wait, Derrick Rose didn't have a Pink Diamond this year? That's kind of crazy. He had a Pink. He did not have barely no Pink Diamond. He had a real Pink Diamond since this version, but it won't be that good. But Derrick Rose, just looking off his Diamond card. Four Hall of Famers, 95 speed, 77 free ball. Like, this Derrick Rose would be amazing. This one wasn't able to get clamps. I remember it. I hope that Derrick Rose can able to be clamps, though. I hope so. If he can get clamps, he's an S tier easily. He's, he's, he's going to be amazing. If he doesn't get clamps, he's probably in a low S tier. But if he gets clamps, watch out. Derrick Rose is amazing. Luka, garbage can. See, even though these season one cards, I will say, like the Giannis onto the Kubo, this is interesting. Because look at if you look at 2K20 real quick, Giannis onto the Kubo was a zero. So like literally, yeah, you know, Giannis onto the Kubo was good for the beginning of the year, 62 free pointer. But I mean, you know, the shot release it was decent. I mean, I think I'm high. I think the token market will be nice for domination guards. Is Giannis onto the Koopa. If they don't make him complete garbage, he'll be able to play. Like, he'll be able to play a little bit. So, I personally like it. I, I, I say he's a B tier. Because I think he's going to be good in offline modes. I think I do. I do. That Giannis onto the Koopa. Scotty Pippen. I think Scottie Pippen's a big here, level 40. I don't think he's off. He's like crazy, like what we got in the past, Melo and Corey. Let's, look at, let's compare him. We can compare real quick. Like Pippen's release, Scotty. Why am I in 2K21? Scotty, Pippen. Let's compare it to his diamond card. Best one to look at. Diamond Scotty to pink diamond Melo. There was no pink diamond Melo. Okay, let's compare him to Pink Diamond Corey. 
boring. Like, pink diamond, can't even find them. Look, I can't even find a Cory. We can just pick this one. Same thing. You know, similar hall badges. I mean, Scotty will offer defense, but Scotty's going to be a cone. You can look right here. He had base dribble style. Base dribble style. I mean, he has Jimmy Butler's size up. Looks Luca's signature. Ah, those, those, those dribble sigs are mad. I'm just being honest. Those dribble sigs are bad. Like, this Scotty was good because he had quick on it that made it way better. Made those moves a lot better than what they are. But I'm telling you, they moved, they moved, like, Scotty would have been swerving if his dribble sigs were overall boosted. He would have been swerving this year. But he's going to be moving like dirt. I mean, it's just a fact. I think Scotty Pippen's still going to be a lockdown defender. B tier, depending on how defense is. If defense is better, A tier, but we got to see how defense is first. Lamar Odom is going to be garbage. Uh, I think he's a C. I mean, for start year, for the start of year, he's a B tier. And after a week, I think D. I, I don't think Lamar Odom offers much quality. He's not that good, really. Any game, personally, I don't. Lamar Odom just sucks in 2K. He just hasn't been good since 2K20. His release is mid. Everything's mid about him. He has a bad behind the back. He doesn't like... I mean, does he offer anything? Like... Does Lamar Odom offer, like, literally anything? Like, let's look, honestly look at it. Let's look, let's look, let's look, let's look, let's look. Let's look. Does Lamar Odom offer anything? Paul George, Rebel 6, horrible. Pro size up. Isn't bad, because he can do the behind the bag. Basic, normal. Yeah, he sucks. I mean, I'm here to say it. Lamar Odom is a freaking garbage can. I mean, literally, I think C tier is being, being B's nice. I say C. Day one card, nice offline C tier. He'll be good online for a little bit, but after a week, no one's running him. No one's running him. Ruby MJ, I think Ruby MJ is F tier. I don't think. If you used Pink Diamond MJ last year, Pink Diamond MJ, he was so. He was so mid. This card was horrible. Like, literally horrible. He was terrible. So I don't think Ruby MJ has any value on your team except an offline gameplay. Because you don't you're not, but online he's gonna stink. Uh Demarcus Cousins. That's an interesting one. The card wait, I just noticed there's a Demarcus Cousins. I'm not sure what the heck. Let me like zoom in on it. I cannot see it. Volume one. I don't know what that's for, but Demarcus Cousins is an interesting one. I say A. If he's a promo card, if he's a promo card, DeMarcus Cousins offers a lot of value. I say A tier for the start of the year. But DeMarcus Cousins can shoot the ball. Robert Williams would be a garbage can day one. Day one, uh, gold. Jalen Brown, D, I mean, F, I mean, D. Reggie Lewis. If, he, if Reggie Lewis keeps his jump shot a little bit, he wouldn't be that bad. I mean, what did Reggie Lewis have early in the year? I don't think Reggie Lewis even had a car. Oh, that's actually interesting. He has Shifty. Okay, that Reggie Lewis might not be that bad for DT for 86 Sapphire, but that's also going to be 7-footer. So he'll be a nice offline card to use. And Corey Casper has a good release as well. He'll be a nice release. Steven Adams, a straight bum. A pressure bum. A Grant Williams, a good release. So, yeah. So, D, that's... D, but he's, I don't want to rate these guys. They're just offline players. Okay, but Stephanie Corey, A tier. His defense will be mediocre. He'll be getting cooked up on defense, but A tier. Corey is going to be A to stop, especially with the Corey slide early in the year. No one's going to be able to guard him. He might be just S tier, but I, at max, I say A. I think John Morant. Uh, I think my, my John Morant will give him much more but i think john i think john morant might be better but yeah but we have to see his stats on the starter pack card but or he's a depending if they give him limitless and stuff he'll be s tier but right now I'll give him a Jalen green garbage like he'll be just a gold card kiki sucks scotty barnes release is unusable do not use scotty barnes he's an f tier paul gasol Amethyst card. I think he's a promo card, so I'll say C. Paul Gasol's not bad in 2K. I know that, but 
That's the one that's pink diamond. Like this pink diamond Pogasol was a thing. Like I'm I'm just gonna say the E tier. I don't think he'd be that good. Chauncey Billups will stink. Paul George. Is Paul George a season one card or is he a promo card? See, that's what I'm wondering. Oh my, is he a promo card? I can't tell. I think he's a series one card. For a series one card, Paul George has a solid release. So I'll say I'll say a I'll say a C. I mean, you know, he can still shoot open jump shot. I guess. I guess though, but literally, uh BAM. Alright. Dino's actually an interesting one. I just noticed he's there. 88 Dino with a high wingspan. I doubt he's able to shoot the free ball, but every Dino was able to shoot the free pointer. There ain't no way they're letting Dino shoot threes. As we can look at this Dino, this Dino has a 60 free pointer. Maybe. Maybe he better pull free pointers. I'm a true D tier run right now, but Dino, Dino got me a little bit of true. Intrigue, I mean. Reggie Jackson, the garbage. But Patrick Williams sucks. So he has a good release, so D. For a offline, offline type card. I'm just gonna call him offline instead of D, so offline card. If they, but LA, card's good, trash, J Jalen Green's trash, Kiki's garbage, Scotty Barnes is unusable, Bugs Hall C, Johnson Billups D, he has a bad release. Cole Anthony, bum, Paul George C, Paul Millsap, maybe B. Ball no subject. Can he play the three? No, I don't think he played a three, so C. Actually, he might be undersized, but it don't matter as much. C, B. If he's a promo card, then B. Bam. All right, D tier. Reggie Jackson, garbage. But. And also, let's rate the domination cards. We don't know the collector level yet, but domination cards are Mike Bibby. Mike Bibby, real quick. Mike Bibby. Where, my, where, where are they? I'm freaking blind. Okay. Mike Bibby. Okay, I was just looking at this. This is the last thing we're going to rank. Mike Bibby, right? Mike Bibby is quality. I think Mike Bibby is going to be very good. I looked at him longer. I thought he'd be a trash can. But, I mean, looking at his stats. I don't know what jump shot 22 is. He has shifty. Chris Paul's size isn't bad. Pro size is not bad for getting out of here. I don't mind pro size up. Trey Young behind the back. I mean, looking at this card, Mike Bibby looks decent. Like, I don't know his jump shot. I don't know his jump shot. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I do not know. I can't say I know what it is. Now, like, he has a little driving dunk tendency. Like, he's comparable to Isaiah Thomas. He has some good dribble sigs. Like, this for a day one, you can get on day one, well, a couple days of grind. Some days of grinding, gonna be a lot of grinding. This card might be worth it. If Isaiah Thomas was good, I don't see how Mike Bibby's not good. Same height, same wingspan, almost practically same weight. Mike Bibby, they have almost identical tendencies. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just overrating, I think Mike Bibby's really good. Are, like, I think he's really, really, he has better behind the back. Kobe has the Kobe size, which Kobe size is good, but it gives you a trash behind the back. So, I literally, I think my baby's an S tier. I think my baby's gonna be amazing. I'm calling it now. I think my baby might be the best domination card. But, maybe I'm on crap. Um, let's look. Let's look. Next up, we got John Havacek. John Havacek is... Let's look. John Havacek. John Havacek. I mean, literally, pink diamond-wise, right? I, I'm i making a prediction that John Havacek is literally going to have base 98. Like, John shot 17 that doesn't exist. Like, if they want people to grind 165 stars, right? I feel like they gotta let him have the base 98, right? I mean, come on. I mean, come on. I mean, like, they got to. It's 165 stars of crunch. Five days worth. Maybe I'm also just speaking a lot, but I think John Habachek's an S tier. Even if he doesn't get it, he'll be amazing for the start of the year. In my team. 
And he did. I'm gonna say Bill Walton will suck. He has 74 free pointer. Bill Walton, I'm hoping you don't have to grind every domination for Habitat. This card will stink. Like, Bill Walton is garbage. He smells like me when I don't shower for a whole week. He literally sucks. This card just freaking sucks. Don't get Bill Walton. He's a D to the F tier. He's garbage. The only thing I can say is, like, I guess he'll be similar to, to uh, this bum card. Um, Will, Mario, Mario Man Will Chamberlain. Like, his pink diamond, but... That's the only thing I could say to Bill Walton. They mean he's 76, 11, Wilt 6, 7, 1, 8 foot, 8 foot wingspan. And that wingspan's a lot different. But, yeah, that card sucked. That's the point. Mitch Richmond at 8. I give him, I give money Mitch at 8 tier. I think S tier, actually. Mitch Richmond for the start of the year is an S tier. I'm giving Mitch Richmond an S tier. Because Mitch Richmond will be very, very... I mean, look at his pink diamond early in the year. Like, Mitch Richmond's going to be very, very good. 88 three-pointer, 84 speed, good, I mean, good cone, a good player. Like, Mitch Richmond, I wish he was low-key the pink diamond instead of a diamond. But Mitch Richmond will be very, 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 very good. And he had quick dribble style. Yeah, Mitch Richmond's him. Mitch Richmond is, Mitch Richmond's a W. I give him an A or a, I mean, for beginning A tier day day one S, up one week, you know A B. But he 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 he's 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 gonna be good. And last we got at least Julius Randle. I think Julius Randle is literally decent. I don't care. I, I love this dark matter Julius Randle so much. For early in the year, like Julius Randle, I think he offers a lot. He has a good free pointer. You know, he'll have better speed in this one. He comes with quality badges. I mean, I really like Julius Randle in 2K. I really do. I, I I really do. So I'm giving Julius Randle an A tier. An A, an A tier almost. Like, dang, I'm ranking it high. Like, Julius Randle is going to be really, 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 really good in my team. Personally, just my take, I, I like Julius Randle. I, I like him in my team a lot. I do. And we had Draymond Green last year, so we can't forget that. So you'd be like, oh my god, but he's undersized, Carlo. Undersized big men aren't that big of a deal. It's only with guards where it's a big deal. Okay, like, he's sick. Draymond was 6'7", and he was amazing. Only thing is he doesn't have the defense, but Julius Randle is, like, good at other things. So I can't wait to use Julius Randle. And he's still at 84 interior and 84. I mean, he's going to be decent. He's going to be so good. But, yeah, yeah, so, basically, John Habitat's S, A, Bibby's S, Mitch Richmond, A, Bill Walton, F tier, and Julius Randle, A tier. And that is my rating of every 2K card reveal that has been revealed to yet. and yeah, hit the like, hit the sub, I'll be posting 2K a lot, and see y'all in the next My Team video. Peace!